Uh, welcome to my video walkthrough of the van. Uh, this is the bed and desk system I built to put in the back. There's the single bed and all the storage underneath. And there's the desk or table. And this is the van completely empty. It only takes five minutes to pull it out. I made it so that it f squeezes in without touching the side. So you can just completely pull the whole thing out. But it is constructed super strong with so many joineries. Now here you can see all you do is can lift the mattress. There's a little handle and it just slides out pretty easy to create a bit of a floating table that you can work on at the back there and I'll show you the clips that hold it in place so you don't pull it out past it. It's pretty sturdy, I've had a lot of quite heavy stuff on there and the mattress has a custom fitted suede or a fleece blanket so it's super warm and a nice grey colour. I've got a grey and black colour going throughout the whole van and that is an inner spring single mattress it's a little thinner than your normal ones uh, but it's super comfortable with the inner springs as opposed to a foam and when you pull it out there's all the storage area underneath there that's easy to access uh, there's plenty of room in there to put all sorts and when you buy the van you actually get quite a lot of tools and equipment that uh, you may need anyway. Now at the back here, you just clip off the back door and you can get access to the 2000 watt inverter underneath there. And I'm just showing you how easy it can slide out. And then you can slide the whole thing out if you really wanted to. It's not bolted in. So we can see everything inside. So there's four plugs that I've put on. There's a USB plug just underneath the switch and you can just turn it on and there it goes it all fires up 2000 watts there's plenty to keep you going and there's the brand there it's four months old everything in this van is four months old bought brand new the battery is very large i think they almost call it a truck battery uh, so lots of uh power depending what you've got to power it would power my laptop for hours uh, i do have an air fryer and anything that uh, uses a lot of electricity now the air fryer uses a lot of electricity so you can get about 16 minutes uh, in one full battery that's, that's all it takes to drain it uh, from 100 to zero uh, but if you drive around while you're cooking it will just almost equal out the usage. So I've driven around for half an hour to do chicken nibbles and two lamb chops either side took about 16 minutes. So I'd drive for 10 minutes, stop, turn them over and keep driving another 10. So there's a little trick to make the most of the air fryer and how much electricity it does actually use. Now they're the clips. So they're super strong. So when you pull out the bed base for a table, just don't go past those, otherwise it will flip off. And I think I should yeah, just show you it here. How That's as far out as you can go, but you could always adjust it or try something new. This is the back window thing. We're not sure if you need that for the warrant, but you can just screw it back on. And there's a wheel brace uh, for, to lock it. Now, so it comes with a, the, that container there. I put all my coffee stuff and tea in there. And then here is the uh, single little gas cooker it's those little propane cans just nice and small and compact but it was more than enough for me to cook anything I wanted you just unclip the sides here and there's another compartment where I put my luggage so I made sure that I built it so that the luggage that big could slide in and fit so it was very deliberate so if you pull it out then you can sit with your legs under that area uh, for that part of the table slash desk and then it just sort of clips back on and everything just sort of packs away now I did cut the top of the table a bit more uh, so there's two plugs I've got hanging out there I've got three lots of breadboard they're good when you're driving keeps the drawers shut there's non-stick sort of mats all the way along so nothing can move there's a nice big drawer there for utensils and stuff they're not fixed in permanently and then there's two smaller drawers but they never move when I've driven all over New Zealand they didn't slide or move at all so it comes with a little uh, kettle gas popper there as well as the fry pan and a little uh, 
to stop the oil spitting. There's plenty of hooks that I've got dangling around the van. So if you've got a lot of utensils, different things you want to hang up, they're there. Now at the back here I've got two clips, I've got about four lots of clips and those railings I put in. I put my towel all the way along the ceiling there while I'm driving so it can dry from the gym or something. You can see when you hop in here, and there's no headrests, that just makes it easy to get in and out from the front and back. And I'm just showing you their black core flute that I cut to size. So you can really black out the van. From the outside, you actually can't tell if it's just tinted windows. It's not obvious that it's a sleeper camper van, so you can sort of park anywhere. And I have little peak holes, just Velcro there, just to have a look out to see what's going on. If there's anything through the night, you can block it back up. So it's a very incognito van. You can almost just park up anywhere overnight, and most people wouldn't know that, that it's a, a camper van as such. I kept it that way, very low profile. So they just clip in, they've all been made just to the right size. And you just sort of place them in. That one is just on the lip at the back, and you just push up and just sort of flip, clips in. And just showing you both sides have the little peak without you having to get out the van to see if there's anything out there. It's got two sunroofs, that one there. So it's not just that, it actually opens up completely. And uh, so it comes with this gray blanket that I've got. It's an extra warm fleece blanket. So once again, it can clip easily along that railing. So one just keeps a bit more warmth if it's a bit cold, but also it's a bit of privacy without putting up all the blocking on the front. Now there is uh, core flute and boards to block all the front area but that sort of does send a large signal to anyone in the car park and that, that someone's sleeping in there type idea so sometimes I didn't do the front area I would only do my grey thing in the middle that way people just think it's a car parked overnight but that there's no one in it but if you're in a campgrounds or somewhere that you are allowed to be then this is another good system completely blocks you in and then you almost don't need to do the little grey curtain in the middle. I just bought all the right stuff to make sure it fits and it's hitting a little headlamp there that's hanging on the windscreen that you get to as well when you purchase the van. So it all comes together really quick. You can still get in and out. I've got lots of little compartments there. There's about five or six of them, just the right size all the way around. You can use now right at the back there, to, and there's a long space there. You could put store some long stuff. Now that's actually a pump that'll work, a foot pump that'll pump up the car tires. And there's an extra two cables near the driver's side. It comes with a fan that clicks underneath a heater. There's four drawers there for storage, just light. Uh, top, uh, plastic so you can move that around pull it in and out there's another little breadboard it actually comes with the air fryer I had that I, I cook a lot of meat and there's a board underneath the bed now this is the other half of the table desk slash bed so it clips in there's an extra strong bolt that I built in there so it fits perfectly on the headrest as well as there you, know, you click in the bolt and I show you the bolt here. See there? It's nice and strong there, so it won't flip. So you can actually put another thin mattress along the top there, and then that's another bed. So it's almost like a, a bunk bed for a two sleeper. Or you can just use it for uh, eating, uh, doing work on your laptop, and it's a beautiful view out the door out to wherever you might be. And this is once again a little fridge, it's a cooler and warmer. So, and it plugs into the lighter, but it can also plug into that 2000 watt inverter. Now, so I'll put some LED lights all the way around the roof. Most times you don't need it, you can just use the big one, but it's very fun, very cool. You can have disco lights playing fast, or you can just have different mood lighting. As you see here, it just slowly moves between the colors. 
that's just a really nice effect all the way around.